Hi friends, MD Vegan. I make a beet juice today with two green herbs and that is mint and parsley. Wonderful herbs, very powerful. Um, here, this is a half bunch of parsley and this is a half bunch of uh, mint, a little bit smaller the bunches here and more powerful in flavor. Mint is refreshing cooling in the summer, a cooling herb, and parsley is a cleansing herb. It's a sour green flavor, a little peppery, very powerful, and it's perfect on a fasting day when you want to cleanse. Greens in general, parsley, very powerful. The beet here um, is usually, one of my favorite juice, um, fruit, or uh, veggies to juice. Uh, it's a nice beet here, fresh and crunchy, so the juice will be running, but usually beet, uh, as a lot, a lot of sugar, but it tastes not good when you drizzle it on its own. It's my opinion. Uh, it scratches in the throat because of the oxalates. So I juice it with fruit, sweet and sour, and I have equal amounts of apples and oranges here. It's a classic. Also nice together with parsley and mint. Uh, here, probably three cups or so each. Uh, apples and oranges, and it's a classic um, juice. Yeah, apples and oranges or either with the beet. And then I add lemon and ginger. That's usually used to boost the flavor of the other ingredients, not so much to create an own flavor. Now here, three or four inches uh, ginger root and a large lemon. And I still don't know if I can use all the lemon, the whole lemon or half of it. I will try. Sometimes a little bit too much lemon makes the juice really not so good. So I have to check it out. And the same with this, the peel, the healthiest part of the lemon. Uh, very powerful, very healthy, but if you use too much, no. Yeah. With greens especially, I have to be careful together with the peel because oh, the, the greens have something bitter and the greens are together with the peel can be too much. So I juice that now and let's see what happens. Come back in a sec. One liter beet juice. I tested it in between and I thought, well, half a lemon is enough. You see, this goes back into the fridge. Half a lemon is enough. It's a large lemon, so maybe a small lemon would do, but a large lemon half. And I used some peel, yeah, two or three or four pieces of the peel here. That seems to be okay. I tasted it in the middle of the juice and I thought, well, it's okay. The peel makes it a little rounder, a little heavier. And the juice was without the peel, was a little bit light and could have some more earthing. So I didn't taste it so far in the, in the end. I didn't taste it yet. Then we'll do that now. The texture here, it's a runny juice, beautiful color, color always the beet color, right? When you add greens to the beet juice, it gets even darker and uh, more beautiful, deeper. Uh, so nice to have greens in the beet juice. And yeah, the texture very nice, uh, runny juice, that's okay. But the flavor, that's what counts now most. Let's, let's see. Mm. Yeah, it was good to add a little bit of peel. Yeah, a little bit more power there, but not too much. It turns into a bitter, it gives a bitter touch. Some people like that, some not so much, some take a little bit more peel, some less. You check out for yourself, be careful with the peel, I would say. Just a small piece, if at all, to, to try, and then you may add a little bit. And, um, well, otherwise it's very nice. I'll show you the juice, what it looks like. So you have a little bit of more impression here. See the runniness, the color, very beautiful. And the red color is a very powerful juice, the beet juice. It gives you more endurance <laughs> for a workout, two hours before a workout, and the endurance is higher. So, scientifically um, approved. So, that's very good. Beet juice in the morning on a fasting day gives me power. Very nice. The green juices also refreshing, but rather cleansing, even more. I make green juices, red juices, all kinds of juices. 
uh, like to have veggie juices because of the minerals, there are no minerals in that, but otherwise, most important with the juices here is the, or not in the juices, that is the fiber. That is usually a very important part of the food, one of the most important parts. You can see that most people have, don't, don't have enough fiber in the big uh, industrialized countries and that makes them sick. So fiber is the most important thing if you have too little. Um, and on the fasting day, I don't take the fiber because digestion will rest there. Like a long night, you know, best not to eat, not to eat food before sleeping because then the digestion can really rest. The body can restore its tissues. You know, and toxins can be released from the brain. A lot of brain toxins, the brain releases a lot of toxins every night. So that's important on a fasting day. That's even longer. But I do it with juices. So we call that gentle juice fasting. So gentle is important, non-violent to myself. Uh, that means I don't push myself. If I feel a little bit dizzy or stressed by the, the strong detox or so, I just eat a little bit, no problem. I have a smoothie with a little bit of fiber. Yeah, fiber is with smoothie. Uh, smoothie is with fiber usually, and juice without. So there is a stronger fasting than with the, with the smoothie. You slow it down a little bit, or a light salad or a light soup or something, a veggie broth. It all makes it easier. Important is that a fasting day is full of delight because when I feel great, the body begins to heal itself according to the holistic medicine, Ayurveda or so, Chinese medicine, traditional, then um, the, whole, the, the body is um, in balance, the energy flows freely and the body begins to heal itself. And out of, out of this balance, the body stops healing and cares for something, danger or something. And, <laughs> yeah. So that's what I do on fasting day. Tomorrow I eat again, only one day a week I do my fasting, once a week, one day is for fasting. Uh, it's a very great day also, the senses get a little bit more because the digestion is not um, working, it doesn't have to work. The juice goes, the nutrients go right into the bloodstream. I have to drink slowly, of course, otherwise sugar spike, not so good. Yeah. So, but when I, um, on these fasting days, when I don't have to digest, all the energy goes into the body, into the system, um, for the senses, for example, to be more heightened, alerted. I can taste better, more intense. I can get alert, get to know the ingredients so much better. Um, and I use this, I get to know the beet here, how it plays together with parsley and mint, uh, what they do to each other and to myself, how the, how the body works on it, works with it, and also the flavors, how they relate to each other and for other recipes too, on a, on a, on a normal day I make a normal food, you know, and then I know these things already, and it's really interesting. Uh, I love my fasting day, I don't want to miss it anymore, it's a very, very healthy thing. In addition to a whole food plant-based diet and my yoga practice every day, Tree Yoga Flows, yeah, check it out, Yogini Kaiji, I'm the founder. Together with that, the fasting is really one of the most important things. I don't want to miss it anymore. So, but the juices by itself, I usually drink them on the fasting day. Uh, but they can be also refreshing, energizing on a normal day. But they cannot replace a regular meal because of this is what is needed in the regular meal, the fiber. That's what cannot be digested and what is used by the bacteria in the intestines to nourish themselves and to make us healthy with a healthy immune system. So that's uh, usually for a fasting day, so I want to say, um, but check it out for yourself. Yeah. Um, if you like my video, like, subscribe, MDV on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day, once a week, a juice recipe or something like that, without fiber. And Otherwise, find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X. And there is also a Tree Yoga Moon Fasting page on Facebook. Tree Yoga Moon Fasting, where all the juice recipes you can find. And fasting, tell for the best days, and so forth. See you soon.